Okay, so we've got the dashboard and we click on appearance and you can see down the bottom it says edit I hope. <laughs> and you go over to this bit here where it's got to drop down and pick out whichever your theme is and you can see there's a list of files and for this first one we're looking for single post PHP which is just here so we click on that and all of the um, code appears over here and you can edit in there but first of all just copy it all like that and put it into a notepad document so that you can grab it again later if, if you decide you've made too many mistakes and you just want to put back what was there originally. So having done that you scroll down and find the bit where it says, uh, where is it, the comments bit, there it is, and comment that out, like so, then click update, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do it to this particular theme, so I'm going to take that out. So it's as simple as that, so if you go over there, you can pick out another theme, if you're working on some other theme, and you'll see that depending on the theme, you'll get all different files, like this one has masses of them. It's quite a complex one, but it has a single post PHP in there somewhere, yep, just there. Whereas this one has very few and no single post PHP, so you'd have to look at one of the other solutions for that. Okay.